Okay, let's start with a recap. Slight recap. So today there's only um, there's only three people tonight. So we'll see how things go. Now, last week is all about Mission Impossible. <laughs> okay, uh, some the party split. Some well, most of them when well, most of you guys went their separate ways uh, for shopping, upgrading weapons, uh, shopping spree to buy more weapons in preparation for anticipated hardships and whatnot. And two of you managed to infiltrate. Well, insert yourself into the temple of Latanda, a well-guarded temple of Latanda, and all well. You know you managed to to go in, and there are lots of uh, refugees or poor people that is there. And at the same time, after discovering some things, you managed to escape, uh, weave your way out through a panic crowd. And later, uh, all of you went to check out the new land area, the land bank that you uh, acquired through a deal with the town okay. and discovering the place is not as run down as you think but it have been well stocked recently yeah. we managed to see more of what the land is about <coughs> and some of the things that go bump in the night <coughs> that seems to be uh, haunting the, the neighbors now as the night approaches, okay, all of you make preparation to face whatever comes that go bump in the night. And at the same time, the two of you uh, went out to do something, to do uh, some research, uh, which is your cleric and your vampire. <laughs> okay, and that's only that left only about three of you in the the new home that you have acquired okay, uh, as the the sun starts falling it's, uh, falling more and more okay, you all of you okay, have the option to really spend the night there or do something else okay. <coughs> and this is where we begin our journey today. Alright, so three of you Chen well not Chen not Chen is not there, Camille, uh Carl mm. and also Leona is there to to mull the next actions <coughs> with only three of you left in the home. Oh what happened to the rest of them? The DM just said that they went out to do their own thing. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um. Ah, there we go, fully loaded. <coughs> ah. well, what time is it now? In game? In game is around 6. 6 pm? Um, yes, it's about 6 pm. Wow. Sun is setting. Um, you, well, Carl spent a bit amount of time uh, trying to conjure up his familiar. Mm. And that took a amount of time. He managed to survive and not blow everybody else <laughs> up. Oh, I mean, oh, yay! Thank God. He's a good boy, okay? Oh, boy. Uh, Alrighty then, boys, it's 6 p.m. and what do we do? How far is Daggerford? Probably. You're just outside of the walls. Mm. Half an hour to the playhouse? Longer, I think. Yeah, it's a bit longer. Um, is that, is that let's, stay, let's stay the night here. Yeah, I mean, staying the night here is okay and all, but it's 6pm. We, we can do other things. Let's not waste time. Shall we drink? Yeah, let's go back to, well, at least one of the bars and do something. What okay, okay. uh, that's, okay, that's, uh, sure, let's hang out about this. Maybe next time when the guys are... 
Then we'll, we'll stay the night again. I mean, when, uh, when we're gonna sleep, we can just come back here. I mean, there's no difference. Okay. Let's go. Let go. Right. So, uh, are you going to start? Where are you going? We are heading into Daggerford proper. Let's go check out the Daggerford Inn for the uh, Felix's young lady. Hmm. Okay. What's her name? Right. Oh, so, what's her name? Uh, Beth, I think. Yeah, Beth something. Uh, I don't remember Camille. Camille, Eliza. Alright, so you guys will open the door and start making your way out. And you are going towards the direction of the kit into back to Daggerford. Yep. Let's go to Caravan. Let's to. Oh, basically, what we want to do is head east back to that gate. I don't know which which way you want to go. Uh, mana mana Let's go. So where do you want to go? Let's go. You are you heading east? Let's go east. I guess we, we can take the long way that Shadow used. Wait, east, west. Oh man, I, I hate this map. There's a compass there. Yeah. North is to your left. Which means east is going upwards. Uh, you go, you go down and go up. Let's go down. You, you're the leader, man. You, you, you go. We follow. Let's go down. Let's go, fearless leader. Let's go. Yeah, Jam, Jam, uh, uh, before I leave, I do something. Okay. Do okay, uh, let's go. Okay. What do you do? PM. Okay. Oh, no, man. No, wait, what? No. I, 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 I PM GM. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. As you pass by, you notice something. As, okay, you notice a, something like a mist or... A cloud cover that is approaching. Uh, oh, from no, this shit again. From which direction? Down or up? It is from up. Uh, let's go down. <laughs> down, down, down. <laughs> down, down. Oh boy. Oh, boy. And it seems to be moving. As if as it has its own mind and covering is from the from the river, it goes inland to cover <laughs> the areas that the village is located. Oh boy! 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 Oh boy. Uh, and right. with that. Some of you can see uh, quite uh, clearly in the mist, mm. and it seems to be movement. Run away! Run away! <laughs> Run to the gates! Oh God, damn it, guys! Zombie! Run away! Run away! <laughs> so you guys are going to run away? Yes. Uh, no. Wait, what? No? Yes, Wait, no. Wanna... Yes, no. All right, thank you. <laughs> oh, it seems to be one single movement, as you can, you can see right now. Okay, give me a second. I'll find out It seems to be shambling. It's just uh, moving... 
shambling. Alright. Oh, wait. Oh, my proficiency is added. Okay. Uh, so, first one is 2 plus 3. Second one is 6 plus 3. Uh, I don't know why. So, um, what is it? 2? Two? 2 and 6? Uh, 6. They need to add 3. They, for some reason, the Radish Blast, the modifier is not added. For some reason, give me a second. Hmm. Weird. How come it's not adding? Maybe yeah, uh, you, you need to fix it in the uh, attack and spell casting section. You can maybe I know, I think it. Plus, plus I love up. When I love up, sometimes the thing gets uh, accepted. Okay. Right. So we just use the first two. So it's basically five and die damage. Alright, so uh, it's five and nine. The first one sort of uh, hits it and send it a bit backwards. And the other one send it further backwards. Okay, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, uh, the three of you, as you make your way and trying to keep your distance away from the encroaching, shambling thing started something. It, it felt like a touch or a probe in your mind. Oh. Oh. Okay, can all of you roll uh, wisdom saving throw? Oh, God. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, lucky. <laughs> Camille, with his strong will and mind, uh, seems just <clears throat> shook whatever thing that is seems to be bothering his psyche. But for the two of you, Carl and Leona, you seem to surrender some things, some information. It's as if like you were compelled to. Say something about yourself, as if you 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 ask about your names, uh, something about your emotional state, and what you are feeling right now, and as if that you felt like something is probing and pushing into your your minds a bit. Mm. I slap them. <laughs> Yeah, for Camille, no problem. <laughs> like, ah, I slap yeah. them both. Wake up lah. Which part? Ugh. What? Oh. What? 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 Oh wow. Okay. Holy shit. What happened? I feel I feel like someone touched touch me in ways that I don't want to be touched. <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Run, run, run. So <laughs> and... too late for that. Ay, ay, ay. And everybody roll initiatives. Hari oh, yeah. token. Okay, I will roll for Camille. Is that okay? Right. Okay. Yeah, I think so. I mean, he has no option. Yep. yep. Can I have a quick? Let me do again. Okay, nice. Okay, so. Camille, you can see uh, something, the, uh, the shambling undead is approaching you. It has been driven back from the blast of the Eldritch Blast that uh, Carl has launched at him. It's just there, but it's still trying to make his, make his way towards all of you. Are we going to fight, guys? Uh, you, you know, zombie always come in a group, so either we take this one out and take the whole gang, or we just get away from here. 
just when we need fireball. Okay well, lah. What about you, Lila? Yeah. What about you? What do we do? Okay, let's, let's, let's try to get out of it. We thought there will be danger in the, during the, the refugees uh, downward. I don't think that's going to be a problem for them. They got paladins and clerics. Come yeah. on lah. I totally agree with Camille on this one. Okay, you, you guys want to jump? Oh, you guys want to Whatever it is, we just follow you, man. Just stay and fight. Let's finish off the zombies. Okay, fearless leader. <laughs> Fairy fire. Alright. I don't want zombies in my spawn. Alright, and with that, I push uh, Carl front because he's the leader. Push. Okay. Push, push, push <laughs> five feet. Push. Ooh. Uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Leona, can you roll strength? Uh, okay, uh, and also, Carl, can you also roll strength? <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Oh, uh, that should be a nine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! And... Carl, you, you will propel forward. <laughs> Five feet. Fearless leader. Go forth. We shall and remember you. <laughs> so, Camille, <coughs> uh, are you at your turn? I think he is casting Fairy Fire. Yeah, okay. Fairy Fire, and then I move somewhere safe, and then I end my turn. Alright, Fairy Fire. You want, you want to save the stuff? Because it's, it's only one zombie so far. Ah, it's okay. I, I had a good rest. Nice. Alright, so, Fairy Fire, 20 foot cube within range. DC 15 Dex. DC 15. Save. Dex. <laughs> Zombie Dexterity, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, that's normal, okay. that's normal. Yep. It's a plus 2, minus 2. It's a plus 1. It is marked. Okay. Fire away. All right. It's, a, it's not this goal. This goal zombie. <laughs> and this zombie is uh, falling all over the place after the Eldritch Blast. And you can see that it's dripping wet as if it has been drenched in water. God damn it. It's a, it's a, it's a water zombie. Oh no. Pirates. Uh, it, it seems to be moving forward. Slowly. <coughs> and suddenly it starts calling out something. Uh, uh, <laughs> Leona. Oh, God damn it. What? what? I see you. Yeah, I see you too. And that's where it ends. Oh god. Um, with it kind of calling out to me, I move five feet forward, take out my uh, hand crossbow, and shoot the bloody thing. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, nine. Uh, does it hit? <laughs> Does that thing stack up or not? Uh, yes, it does hit. Okay, give me a second, eh? Because I forgot that sneak attack uh, might or might not trigger. Uh, well, of course, spirit. you have the, the thing being marked with verifier. Confirm trigger lah. Okay, Advantage. so I'll have to just roll 1d6 then. One! So basically it's a nine. <laughs> God dang it. My rolls are not good today. Alright. Anyway, after <coughs> the damage it, it took from the two Eldritch Blasts earlier, call it. Uh, as I move up front and pull out my hand crossbow, I shoot it. When, as I shoot it, I say, How the hell do you know our names? And fire the arrow through and hit it right 
in the in between the eyes. <coughs> yes. Uh, the zombie just uh, crumpled to the ground with the the bolt sticking out of his uh, between the eyes, and and as it goes down, just says, "I see you later." Oh God, damn it, Carl! What you got us into? What? Are you sure it wasn't you? No. Why would I come here? There's no point. There's there's nothing. There's nothing to profit here. I I I I I'm a zombie. Okay. As As you... With a okay. stick of us. With my spear. <coughs> so. As you go and see the zombie, you okay? Well, um, you notice some loose change. Oh. Money. Some yeah, several coppers, but it looks like he has been in the water. The the corpse has been in the water for some time. It's it has been. It looks as if uh, the zombie has been bloated, and it, this is past that bloat. It's after the burst, after the bloat. Oh boy, <laughs> not great. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Looking at the body, uh, do do you recognize whoever this person is? The state is, uh, is a very decomposed state. Mm. Uh, it's like um, things that uh, the gas inside has um, blew up part of the intestines and all, everything is all over the place. Made worse by the Eldritch Plus that busted it to pieces more. So you have no way of telling who this previous person is. Mm. But from what you can see, the pants and the, uh, the pants seems like sailor's boots. Hmm. One of it, at least. Oh boy! Move back! No, no, move back! Yeah, let's let's, let's let's what? Oh, I'm bonk here. Oh, bonk Okay, you you managed to get uh, six coppers. Okay, I just put it in the back. Alright. <laughs> that was something else. Mm. Jam roll a d6. That's not good. When? Yep, that's something else. Ah. So- you are making your way uh, towards the the caravan grounds to where the refugees are. You know, you know, this the caravan special. Let's go and tell this to Marshall. Yeah. It's quite quite a distance, and the time it took um, for you to go to the caravan grounds, you managed to make safely uh, made it safely to the caravan grounds. <clears throat> oh, what's that? The Marshall. Oh, okay. You're all jumpy you nowadays. Eh? <laughs> I mean, uh, another zombie waiting on my. So it's an odd occurrence. <laughs> well, so do you? What do you tell the Marshall? So Carl, what do you tell the Marshall? Yeah, no, would you like to tell or? You tell, you tell. Okay, we we'll just tell the marshal what, what happened, I guess. About the farm, how we got the farm. No, the farm we're planning to use to feed the refugees or not, with our farming. And okay. about the missing owners and the weird occurrences that the neighbor describes. And, you know, as we were there, we decided to come, as we decided to come back because our members were, well, went, went ahead. To do something, we met the zombie that can actually probe our minds. No? Yeah, just don't hit that. Well, you can, you can. Okay, uh, can you all of you roll the three of you roll perception, please, as you tell this to the marshal, who is. Hmm. Net twenty. Standing there. Okay. <laughs> Let me check my perception. Is my perception good? It's not good. Oh, I'm too busy telling stories. All right. 
Carl, you you were so busy telling uh, what you have gone through, narrating all your tale, while the marshal sits unmoving, and you, or Carl, you are not sure whether the marshal is listening attentively in all his mm-hmm. armor, or is well, he's sleeping inside that. <laughs> <laughs> But for Leona, you notice the the slight tilting, barely tilting of his armor. And the movement of the fingers, the the marshal is listening attentively all this time. And you notice him, as you say, you are being probed by the zombie. Mm-hmm. That there is a movement of his head that seems to be a bit odd. And then after that, he just stood up and says. Zombies do not probe. Yeah, minds. That, that's, that, that's the that's the weird thing. But it did, and for for some reason, it, they know our names, and they say that they'll they'll see us later. Yeah, usually from where I came from and from my experience in adventuring, zombies are mindless, uh, higher level undeads like lich and whatnot. They're Oh, intelligent. This one doesn't seem that strong. And he can speak. And I uh, and I show the marshal uh, the corpus that I found on the zombie. <clears throat> There used to be a common corpus, copper coins here. But uh, no, if you notice the copper coins, it seems to be in the water for a long time. It's reanimating corpses from the river. Well, one of the things that we notice is that he looks like a sailor. It's probably best that we ask Lenever about any um, wrecks in the lake and whatnot. Probably he'll know something about it. Please best go your way then. So I need to see to more fortifications around this refugee area. Yeah, much it, it's it's better that way. By the way, Marshal, could you check up on um, uh, me and Yona? They, uh, we are wondering if may have left something inside of us. <coughs> What would you want to be checked? Hmm, I was wondering if you could uh, sense. Sense anything that that's off about us? Perhaps the zombie might be related to some higher undead, like what my friend Camille said. Hmm. Let's see. And he did something. He. He put up his hands and muttered something, and in Leona's observation, very keen eye seems to be muttering spells. And a glow seems to be emanating from his hands. As he says, "No, it seems to be you are not cursed or anything." Yay! Steal <laughs> your 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 mind. It is probing though. Hmm. Mm. It, it happened too sudden. We did not expect this, because we never expected zombies to do this kind of things. It seems like things are getting more and more interesting. I guess. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Totally. And Marshall, I was just wondering, have you been in contact with? The, um, I won't say Pope. Uh, what was he again? The arbiter. Arbiter. Give me a second. I'm trying to find his silly name. What was his name again? Uh, uh, Priestess Boris. Priestess? Sorry, priest, Boris. Ah, the, the high, high priest, priest Boris. Yes. 
I was thinking, priestess. <laughs> There's no hype for priestess here. Ah, uh, my bad. It's it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, well, high priest Boris is a politician. Yes, we do have contacts, but I keep stressing on fulfilling our duties. Uh, could you remind me what are your uh, what were your duties were? Support against these incessant attacks. Mm. I see. We are called by the Duchess. And okay. I... And yet, the high priest seems to be seeking my support for him to bolster his forces and influence. I do not like that. Mm. That's what we heard. And um, do you know? Uh, sorry. Uh, do you know what's going on with the church itself? Church? What? Why do you ask? Because it seems that um, they're not really letting um, the well, they're not they're mostly not letting the general public in. They do not. Yeah, um, they're only letting in a few people who they deem worthy, but I, I'm just. Wondering, like, uh, what's going on? Because Felix told me that um, they were um, they they were investigating on a case, and they've been sending um, the inflicted pregnant woman to the church, and I haven't heard anything of that till now, and I came in late. We do not interfere with whatever administrations, administrations of the church where we are. Mm. We are just servants of the Lord. But you should ask and be able to gain access to the temple all the time. Yeah, but that's the thing. Not many are allowed in. Is there any way that you can help us get in? Like a letter or anything like that? Mm. I know it may not be in your jurisdiction, but at least it will give us some leeway. And who knows, um, we might uh, give you some information on what's going on in there, because if there um, slighting the name of your god, eh, it'd be best that we kind of nip in a bit. Roll persuasion, Leona. Alright. Oh no, my persuasion is not that great anymore. Give me a second. <laughs> 14. I wish I had. <laughs> god damn it. Wow, what, what, what is that thing? <laughs> it's a nut twin. Wait, what? What is that thing? So, so no, it's oh net twenty plus ten. Yes, okay. But why is it net twenty? Plus no, ten. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, Whoa. If you just imagine, it would be thirty four. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> the plus, no, plus no, 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 no. Uh, no, it's a plus ten. I got four plus ten. Everything's correct now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the, the, the quick run is, is a bit weird if you look at it. No, uh, no, it. Brrr, I don't know, read. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, nah. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Hey, yours, your, yeah, the modifier is weird because the, you're supposed to plus 10, but the modifier is 2 plus 3 plus 9, so it's still 12. Weird. <sighs> yeah, but your position is correct. It's just that the modifier is still wrong. Uh, I, I blame uh, roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, so anyway, um, this is uh, what the marshal seems to... Okay, you are very persuasive, and mm. the marshal... Okay, you are correct. 
it is not my place to interfere with the local administrations of how the church conduct their their way. But at the same time, I do agree they should be more admitting the need. So I will write a letter giving my suggestion for them to let you in or the bearer of this letter to let you in. Thank you very much, uh, Marshall. And if it's possible, don't include the Midnight Hunters in there. I think they might not appreciate that. Like I said, I will just write the bearer of this letter. You should gain access to whatever is needed for that. Thank you very much. Just wait there a bit, wait outside of my tent. Alright. And the sergeant at arms uh, escorted you out. Mm -hmm. And just a few minutes later, the his ward uh, came up with a letter bearing a seal of the high marshal. Mm, uh, when you say seal, is it wax seal or...? It is a seal, wax seal. Okay, no, no chance. Really. Hem, hem. Mm. It is a wax seal. I'm not that kind of criminal. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. So, with that, you after your, your reporting, mm -hmm. and where, where do you go? Now you have a letter. The time I, uh, now is about, about 8, eight at night. Okay, I'll keep the letter safely on me. And I'll just tell the guys that, hey, um, you know what? I, I have some place to go first. I'll catch you guys later, eh? Okay. See ya. So, so Camille and Carl, you are going to let the person with the letter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You are splitting the party again, all right? Ah, uh, poor DM. DM, I, I know, yeah. you know where I want to go. No, no idea. <laughs> I, I PM you just now. Okay. Early on. Still same. No change. So, um, so do you guys split the party? Yes or no? Okay, uh, alright. So, uh, Carl and Camille, where are you going? Hey, Carl, let's tell you now. Let's do it. Okay. Let's follow. Sneaky, sneaky, follow Leona. You know what? I, 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 touch, I touch Camille. Mm -hmm. Okay. You touched Camille and then what happened? Don't know. We don't know what happened. Oh, you said you touched Camille and then? Yeah, I don't know. And then I cast invisibility on both of us. So, yeah, okay. Do I see this happening? Because I don't think I'm that far away from them. Well, no, because you you sit in tent after you say your goodbyes, you are going there. Uh, you just go, mm -hmm. okay, and just for a check, um, your backs are turned, mm -hmm. but do roll perception with disadvantage. Eight. Okay, you well, <laughs> this escapes your attention. Okay, so. I'll put up my hood and I'll head towards the uh, weapon shop. Well, you are not sure. You you are still going to your initial destination and you are not sure whether you are being tilled. Mm. Alright. So is the drill still busy? Well, it's at night and it's not busy at Alright. <coughs> so anywho, yeah, I hit in. Hit in to okay. see the death sergeant. And you saw the portly death sergeant. The death. Ooh. Okay, and then, okay, he's there. <laughs> no. uh, not going to be. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Is Lenovo inside? Oh, no, uh, oh, no, the, 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 the commander is in. 
advisement uh, is in a council with the Duchess. Oh, right? that's interesting. When did it is. It, it, it apparently has been since since the afternoon. Oh. oh. And it's never been quite this long. Hmm. All right. Um. Well, if he comes back, do inform him that uh, Demon Eye Hunters came by to well report in. But we'll do. And with that, I head out. Uh, right. By this point, uh, do I bump into the two or are they well away from me? Well, they are away from me. Well, you have no how, idea where they are. I mean, how close were they telling me? Because if they're telling me that close and I turn around and walk out the door, uh, I might bump into them, but uh, depending on uh, how safe, close. Two meters safe. Two meters safe distance. <laughs> Alright. So far, you have not bumped into anyone. Right. And actually, actually that's not telling you, you're just not think, thinking too much. Uh, <laughs> I put up my hood and I hit to Yeah, maybe, maybe it's the the trauma of being talked to called by a zombie. <laughs> that seems to be put you on a paranoid. No guys like me <laughs> Oh boy. Anywho, um I hit to the weapon shop. And as you go in front of the shop, you see the sign that is closed for the night, for the day. God dang it. Hmm. I wonder if the guilds are open. Sorry. Um, oh no. I will try to go to the Adventurous Guild. Alright, so you are going to the Adventurous Guild. Is it open still? It seems to be also closed for a day. Hmm. Man, I don't remember this place closing early. Uh, well, can't see much. Uh, well, why not? Why not? Let, let, let's, let's, let's see. Um... Felix did tell me about something. I'm going to go here. Okay, you are going here, right? So through this road. Yes, through high road. Okay. So um, for Carl and Camille, can you roll a perception? At this uh, location. Yes, at this location right now, in front after the you tail, you know, okay, for that call. Okay. All right, <coughs> Carl and Camille, <coughs> you notice something a bit odd uh, because you were here during the day, and you notice. Something different about this place in terms of the the signage of this particular shop mm. and the shop reads Merchant's Guild and if you recall correctly during the day you seem to notice it's called Next, next, and tidbits. What do any energies are work here? Merchant skill. Yeah. Whereas, whereas in the in the day when Carl was searching for his gilded flower, he, you recall of well, the two of you recall this is the signage is next, next, and tidbits. Yeah, do, do, do I do any... Oh, wait, uh, can I have Sure. Ah, okay. oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, what are you um, trying to ascertain with your kind of skill? Is there like a magic, something magic happening here? So such that the shop is like, different shop during the day? 
And then, like, this mission skill at the night. Was there, like, did we go into a portal or something? Well, something is off. The sign is, the signage is totally different. <laughs> this, this signage seems to be weathered, and you see all the the fittings of the signage. It has it seems that it has been there for some time. Merchant skill, huh? Yes, merchant skill. Okay, there's no, I don't feel any magic energy coming out, right? Well, from outside here, uh, it's quite hard to, to detect any magic, but it seems like there are some, some things off or some things interesting. That is, it is faint, but it is something that might be a bit magical, if I recall, if you may say so yourself. Alright, <coughs> but being close at night, there's nothing much you can do for that. Yep. Okay. Yep. We'll so, take note of this. Next time, right. no more, okay. come back and take a look at it. Alright, hmm. Leona, yes. you are going to? Uh, in front of you. All By right. the way, do they, were they here for a long time pondering, sorry, here for a long time pondering about the store? Because if they were, uh, uh, they would have missed me. Yep, uh, it is like a distraction. And no. Hmm? no, I got my eyes on you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the only one that's wanted for a while. Uh, so that we'll continue for the new. Yep. It's, okay. it's just like a moment, you know, that you touch some things. Uh, something is off. Yeah. But you, yeah, you do an arcana check. Well, you have another person that is not doing arcana check who is watching the other person attentively. Huh. Alright. <laughs> you know what? Every time we split the party, uh, let's do this, you know. <laughs> we have Chen Chen! Yay. Chen Chen will be stopping while we are stopping the other. Hey, Chen Chen, we are stopping Luna. Huh? We are stopping Luna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. Yep. Okay, then I'm going to go mute. So, have fun, guys. <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. Okay, uh, Luna, as you make your way mm-hmm. here, okay, yeah. you notice the... Okay, of course, uh, the Duke's Way, one of the... The big building there is always open. This and one? Yeah. Alright. Is that the playhouse? Yes. Uh, I slowly drift towards the playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> so, yeah. Is this place open? Yes, it is. It's always open. Alright, I'll head in then. Alright. So, uh, Carl, you you managed to till that and okay. How does this the invisibility for two part two person? Okay, oh, invisibility is on yeah. Carl. The for Camille is still. No, I think he burned. No, no, no. We burned, both. We both. Yeah, yeah. he cast it high level. I burned the level three. I see. Okay. So how does that work? Can you see each other or right. just cannot see each other at all? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, GM. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I, I honestly I got no idea. Um if you if you were to ask me personally, I say just for the funds, I say they can see each other, but honestly, they probably can, right? No, yes. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I I will rule it. Okay, after that they, they lost track of each other. <laughs> 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 I, 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 yeah, I think I, I, I won't notice a male girl in the playhouse. I, I think he'll, he'll be dealing because, yeah, because I probably, because currently I'm, my thought, I'm following his voice and, you know, his footprints. Uh, there's some but, dust cutting up. Yeah, but, well, then again, he is quite a stealth, stealthy fellow. After some time, you don't even know where he is. I, 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 for all purposes, I would think I'm still tell, telling Leona because he didn't tell me. He just yeah, yeah. Okay, it just went also like, hmm, come here. What do you think? Come here. <laughs> come here. Oh, uh, he's, he's thinking. He's thinking. All right. All right. It's cool. It's cool. He's <laughs> thinking. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Call that. And okay, for Carl, you you only see Leona uh, 
knocking and entering this building. Is Leona entering the playhouse? Nope. You <laughs> have uh, no idea where I am. Well, he is steady, but then again, you got distracted for a bit. Oh, he, he entered the playhouse. <laughs> he just... uh, contemplating. Contemplating. <laughs> You're at the crossroads, literally. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Mm, follow Leona. Okay, fine. <laughs> the the pool is strong, but the pool to enter the the jolly uh playhouse is strong, but after some time, well, just a brief thought, you darted away. And you saw Leona entering this building. <coughs> curious, curious. Okay. So, you are quite a distance away. And do you come closer to the building? Where Leona has disappeared into? Yes. It seems like a... Uh, a building that is um, quite huge. It's dedicated to Chontia. What there? Chontia, the Earth Mother. Oh, never knew she was a nature girl. This is a one another deity that is dedicated to nature. Okay, but yeah, it is something that uh, fertility, uh, growth, harvest, multiple harvests, and all those. Sounds good. <laughs> all right. Mm. So it's for... is not trying to have a baby. <laughs> Mm. Is she planning to be Phoenix's shop? Probably. Mm. <laughs> okay. Let's find out. Mm -hmm. So, do you guys enter the building also? Yep. Alright. Do you open the door or do you knock? <laughs> <laughs> the, an open window if possible. It's night, and even though it's nearing the end of winter, it's still cool, so it's closed. The windows are closed. Try to enter when another person enters, I guess. Or try to quick, quietly enter. Quietly enter. I don't know. Okay, your uncommon stealth... Um, you with that you try to okay roll a dexterity check. Normal dex check, eh? Yep. Mm. For Camille. Dex hmm? save. I thought it's normal check. Dexterity check, not the save. Dexterity check, not the save. Not the save. <laughs> Okay. <coughs> okay. I'll roll something. Oh well. Eight. Eight. Oh, not oh, good. All right. So, as you try to open that, you at first you started brilliantly. You started op to open up the the door quietly. And as you are halfway there, you manage you think you can manage to squeeze through. A gust of cold wind seems to be blowing and open up the, the door quite violently. Right? And the people inside there was quite ooh. They were jumping on their feet because suddenly the door is open. I use the opportunity to hide. Okay. People are sorry. Oh, what happened? Do you do you not close the door properly? <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Alright. 
So, uh, Leona, <coughs> what do you do inside there? Uh, I'll uh, first. Uh, I'm guessing this took a while for them uh, for their event to happen. So, as I hit in, I hit mm-hmm. to the person I saw earlier in the day mm-hmm. and say, "Hello, um, is the books still at the table, or <laughs> have they been placed back?" Well, we always try to be proper <laughs> around here. Um, well, you can have your your place there. Um, would you like to continue your lessons? Ah, uh, yes, yes. If you don't mind. Of course. Um, here, uh, have this light. Ah, thank you. And what uh, is it? A ah, uh, what they call it? Lantern? Something? Um, half lit lantern. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, lanterns require uh, oil. Ah. We are short of that, so can just offer you this candle. Ah, all right. And, and we have to ration our candle also. That's only until this candle burns out. I think that's your allocation for today, ah. for tonight. Sure, sure, sure. I sure. hope I hope you understand until we can find more sources. <sighs> Things are okay. tough. I understand. So All right. I pick mm-hmm. up the candle and head to the table and grab books. Um, but by, by, by the way, um, the, the, okay, the the lady monk there is asking you. You seem to be uh, very interested in, in the knowledge of the Earth Mother. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, just out of question uh, to to understand and maybe assist you better. Uh, may I know your specific interests? Um, mostly in language. I see. Yeah, I mean, uh, if I, I don't, if I stumble upon nature and whatnot, I, I don't mind learning it. But yeah, mostly language. Well, it is a bit um, interesting because I see somebody as cultured as you uh, usually do not have interest in what we do. Well, uh, well, when when you go adventuring, I was thinking that somebody of your stature and 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 prominence will look for the books at the Lathander's Temple. Uh, well, you know when you go adventuring and sometimes you don't have anybody to pick up the slacks, you kind of need to upgrade, and a Lathander's Temple ain't admitting people in. Oh, are you sure? That is unfortunate. Yeah, I uh, mean, like I've seen people go there and they, some of them get in and some of them are shoot away. Oh, yeah. Most I, unfortunate indeed. Yeah, and it's, 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 how to put this? It's kind of sad and also not right for a temple to not admit people in in their time of needs or in yeah in their time of needs yes yes i believe so um, unfortunate unfortunate such exquisite books they have true true but still um books are books and every book has knowledge in them i i am sorry for taking your time oh. um um, I will leave you to your business then. Yes, thank you. Uh, yeah, that's no problem. Uh, in order to, to compensate for the time loss here, uh, I will give you another candle. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, candle, so. Okay. Mm. For the two of you, uh, Camille and Carl, what are you doing? You are inside. Stalking. The, stalking, okay. You're stalking inside the shrine. The shrine is quite spacious. Um, mostly it smells of earth, it smells of plant, some musk and spices. Uh, seems uh, there's uh, some smell of moss somewhere inside there. And as you were stalking Leona, uh, you notice her talking to the, the somebody that seems to be wearing monk robes. And after that, the, she handed Leona candle, lit candle, another piece of candle as Leona uh, goes into a room. 
It's a private room. I see. Try to and follow S C N S. As I head into the room, mm-hmm. I go inside and I lock it. Okay. You okay? Being quite a distance away, you notice that, and then you can hear something trying to click, click, lock. But unfortunately, this is mm, you do not have access to the lock, Leona. Oh. Yes. Mm. There is a keyhole, but you do not have the key. And uh, the the room that you were in is mm-hmm. not really a private room. It's oh. more like a spacious, uh, what I can say, library. Ah, uh, all right, no problem then. If that's the case, uh, I don't. I do no such thing. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I hit... the, the, the door is closed. Yeah. Anyway, I am I okay. Give, am I the only one in this room, or are there other people? In this time of day, uh, somewhere okay. It, it, imagine a uh, a classroom mm-hmm. setting uh, with books, uh, bookshelves on the on the walls, mm-hmm. and it is separated by bookshelves and. You notice out of the corner, uh, there is another candle lit, mm. but you are not sure whether there is somebody there or it's just a lit candle being mm. left. Mm-hmm. Do you check out the candle? Um, yeah, I, I'll head to the table and see if there's anybody else. You saw a balding monk, uh, somebody looks like in a monk's robe, mm-hmm. pondering over a, a tomb or scroll on his table, writing something up. Copying mm. uh, notes from the the book. Mm, all right, right. That doesn't uh, seem to notice you though. Yeah, I won't bother him. So I'll go <laughs> to where I was before and pick up pick up the book that I read early on and read read the book. All right. So you started reading the book for Carl and Camille. Can you roll perception? Wait, wait, wait. No. Mm-hmm. First, you are outside of the the closed door. What do you do? I try to quietly enter. Roll stealth. Uh, okay, let's see. Not stealth. You... Okay lah, roll stealth. Nineteen. <laughs> Ooh. Twenty, uh, twenty-three. Uh, nice. Why is it one key fourteen? No, technically I'm twenty-six to... due to advantage being invisible. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Also now, true. Yeah. Now, I was, I, I was wondering, what is going on with the, <laughs> with the twenty-three being grey, the color, because I'm seeing grey. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering. Well, okay, something wrong. Okay, so stealthily. The two of you almost bumping into each other. <laughs> midnight, st- the two midnight stalkers <laughs> went in- <laughs> managed to quietly open the door as uh, Leona was checking out the the other tenant inside the room. And you are now inside the classroom with uh, books and books on herbology <laughs> on on. The, the time of year for good harvest and all the the kind of um how fertilizer is being used uh the all right so uh leona you are spending time to continue your studies yes whatever you are you are doing mm-hmm. and then uh, carl and leona notice uh Leona is yeah Carl sorry uh, Carl can Camille. can Carl and Camille notices uh, Leona sitting in a table secluded table uh, with some books in her hand and started reading and trying to understand some things from where you are is quite quite hard because there's only a small candle that's lit well that's lighting where she is right. So, um, for 
what you are doing is well as the two of you starts to try to get closer and see what she's doing she's very attentive uh, to what she's doing right now and seems to be reading a book on um, herbology in elvish Okay, and waiting on those two. Yep. <laughs> yep. So it, it is a book on uh, on herbology, kind of herbs that is uh, good for for a healing salve, for um, something that that can um, do for the cuts and pains. And that's it. It is a a book on herbology. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll keep reading. I got no idea what these goobers are going to do. Yep. Mm, I can teach her everything for a cost. Okay. Uh, you spend some time there until the the candle runs out. It's about one candle is about an hour. Mm-hmm. Do you light the other candle? Uh, no. Um, I I don't. Okay. So I read cards invisibility on both of us. <laughs> <laughs> three level, two level three slots. Wow. Hmm. No, I, I was wondering. Okay, how in the world do you find each other? <laughs> they, they were holding hands. They were holding okay, hands. Fine. Passionately <laughs> holding. <laughs> I'm whispering to you. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah. But since since you're really custard, then I don't need the custard. <laughs> <laughs> you you were. Holding and not talking, and you are not privy to each other what each other is doing because you're just holding hand and not seeing what the other hand, free hand, is doing. You I'm not sure to... if message will break the spell or not. Uh, no, it shouldn't. Yes. It's a concentration, right? No, it shouldn't. Like um... a message is not concentration. Okay, so it doesn't. Oh, uh, message doesn't. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, until and I I got I got the perfect uh answer for this because I was pondering about this myself, uh-huh. and I and look for the answer, and the answer is this. Okay. Oh no! Why did it, oh it's processing? Ah, uh, there we go. Jeremy uh, Crawford. <laughs> We're asking Jeremy Crawford. Yep. Uh, basically, um. When concentrating on a spell, casting another spell doesn't break your concentration unless the second spell also requires it. Yeah, but here is easy to the spells ends for target. Wait, uh, give me a second. Uh. Ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. Ah, ah a spell. yes. <laughs> is message a spell? Yes. Or a it cantrip? Is. It is spell. Cantrip is a spell. Cantrip is a spell. Mm. So you can't, uh, you can't message. Morse code. <laughs> Do you know what's good? <laughs> I wish. Oh, you can whisper in Elvish. I know Elvish. You know I know Elvish. Uh, do I know you know? Yeah, remember when, when, we, re- when we were taking the sword from the monster? Uh, uh, can, can you roll a possession, please? Okay, there you go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm hyper focused on the book because it's yes, dark. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> Imagine the time to really do something and you roll a one. Hmm? <laughs> you, 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 you see, you, you hear voices and you, do I message you? Yes. Does message cause me? <laughs> 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 you know, Elvish, I can tell you. Let's listen. Let's listen. And then, you know, uh, what is that? The sound or the muttering of that, that old coot over there in the corner? Oh, it must be the wind. Um, yes. <laughs> and then, you can hear, She's looking up. Quiet. Uh, I told you, get him to come for it. Patrick, it's a spell. <laughs> uh, okay. Which is, which is kind of weird. And then, okay, now it's deathly quiet inside there. As if even it's like some two people are holding their, even their breath. So not to... Mm. No, no, my, 
Now I'm wondering if that monk at the back there noticed all of this. <laughs> I wonder what his perception is. I have no idea. I'm rolling something. <laughs> damn it. He's, he's just as bad as you. <laughs> God damn it. <coughs> okay, so. Mm. Uh, what do you guys do? Um... Shall we catch up here? Or should we just get out? Shh, shh, shh. Wait a while, wait a while. Let's see what, let's see what she's doing. Okay, after the, the like can... Okay, <laughs> after the can... Okay, about one hour mm-hmm. later, uh, the candle is almost burnt out. Oh no, I, I didn't out. lit my second candle. Oh yeah, so you did not lit your second candle. Mm-hmm. So, gauging the time left for the burnt candle, you put uh, the book that you are reading uh, back to where it was where you when you took it, mm-hmm. and gauging perfectly the time, you managed to make your way uh, to the to the doors outside where it's lit by. Other light sources, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a torch, and by that time, the candle that you have in your hand fully burnt out. Mm, and you're outside of the because there's the uh, the um, the lady gave me two candles. One yes, do you yes. One was used up, and I didn't light up the second one. So there yeah. should be another unlit one. Yes, you do have an unlit candle in your possession. Mm-hmm. So outside of the room, there are lanterns and a torch. So uh, lighting up the hallway. As I head out and um, head back, <coughs> sorry, as I head out, I try to look for the person that gave me the candle. The person is uh, is down the hallway. Ah, all right. So I towards the and uh, almost towards the entrance. So I'll. Head back to that person, and as I see the person, I'll just say, "Um, here you go. Um, I didn't really need the second one. Thank you very much." And ah, give back the candle. You. Thank you. I uh, I will save this for your next visit. I presume. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. And I head out. And what time is it? Right now it's about nine nine thirty. Uh, I look to my, as I head out, facing west, is the north part light up? Light up? Like, is it busy? Which part? Just ping on the map. Around this area. <coughs> oh, okay. Um. It, it is uh, getting late at night. Usually at this time around, it's not busy. Uh, the pedestrians are not really eager to spend time in the cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, okay, so let's see. Give me a second. Let's see. Um, is this house part of Lady Amelia's place? Yes. This one? Uh, Lady Amelia's place is here. Yes, and this one? Beautiful. That one is at the one of the more high price or high end dwellings. Mm. It's just outside of one of the cul de sac that uh, forms the alley to Lady Emily's place. Okay, I'll head through there and check out uh, the building, I think. All right. You went and check out the the trappings. Um, I think you you might be here before. Mm, I don't. No, think so. no, you don't. No, you don't. Okay. The thing is, um, it seems to to have uh, an alley uh, that forms the back at the back of the Lady Emilia's mansion. Mm-hmm. But you are not sure because you have never seen Lady Emilia before, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright. So, 
Um, just a brief description of what Felix uh, gave you. Uh, this is a really, really high-end section of town. And uh, all the the buildings are immaculately built. Uh, even the, the doorways are have their own trimmings in metal. Uh, the doors are oak and other costly um, material. Mm, okay. And they are at at least two stories high or more. This is Emilia's place. Uh, at Emilia's place, from the back there, you notice it's about at least three stories high. With a really tall... Um, oh, you were describing the building that I'm checking out. The, yeah, all the uh, buildings there are very high rise. <laughs> hmm. Alright. So, alright, alright. Uh, let's see. Uh, the building that I'm checking out. Are there any lights on? Anything like that? Yes. Mm. Alright. Mm. The lights are more towards the second or uh, the the upper grounds, most of them. Whether it's you suspected this from the bedrooms or the study or something, and usually at the ground floor where where the servants' quarters are usually located, uh, it's just a faint, uh, like a candle or something like that, and then usually it's not lit at the ground floor. Okay. You know what, I'm going to try and do something. Uh, he, scouting out the place. Um, I'm feeling daring. I put out my hood and I lockpick the door. Okay, uh, specifically, uh, which door? The which building? The building behind Lady Emilia's place. Ah. <coughs> This building? Yes, that one. Alright. Uh, you want, why don't you roll... Well, do you have the tool? Yes, I have a thief's tool. Okay, a thief's tool. And then you will need to roll... Slide of hands. Slide of hand. Why is it so slow? There we go. Ooh. The front door, right? Uh, the back of this place, like, um, come here in early, look for the back door. How does this house work? Where, where is the front door, by the way? Where is the door? The, the, it is the front door. <laughs> okay. That's... And this is the front door. It's the front, front door. Yeah. Are they connected, the building? Or are they separate buildings? They are separate buildings. So there's only one way in and out? This is like a, a cul-de-sac. It's towards the the end. This is the end of the way, a uh, lorong, mm. a small alley. But then again, this house is separated by... This is uh, the alley, and this is considered the back alley for Lady Emilia's house. Mm, okay. So, yeah, I'll just try and open the front... Uh, the, the door, the door. This one? Yeah. Okay. And you manage to the click. And you manage to quietly open the door. Okay, for Carl and Camille. You notice your the your friend there uh, after opening up the cloak. No, uh, putting on. Oh, put it, oh, you are putting on. I heard you are putting off. Alright, so you notice the, the figure hunch over the... The door knobs and where the keyholes are, and manage to successfully unpick the lock. All right, call. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, All right. So, uh, so Leona, what are you gonna do? Hmm. I. Uh... No. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, I'll I'll sneak in and see. Like uh, I take a few steps in. Alright. Stealthily you are in. Okay. 
How is the place? Dark. Dark. Is the smell of the the fireplace is quite uh, quite uh, well smoke from the fireplace seems, still seems to be the aura or the smell from the fireplace that just uh, was put out still hangs in the air. Mm. Uh, the heat is still there. It's getting colder though. All right, so I'll um, try to find the stairs to the upper level. Alright. Okay, you managed to see your way inside the the house without any problem. And you see Takis. Okay, for Carl and Camille, what do you do? You notice your the the person that you are tailing? Is getting inside the house. Contemplating about the magical security we saw last time. Okay. So it's a different house coming. It's not the house that we went to. It's the other house. Ah, oh, uh, you know, remember the house when I tried to detect magic and even the servant was using magic? Yeah, that was Lady Amelia's place. Amelia's house. Behind Lady Amelia's house. Ah, uh, it's the house behind. Yeah, I, I just tried to you because I, I know you can't see it. But, uh, but you can feel me pulling you. <laughs> okay, continue. By right, this Talking. time around, you, you can feel your each other's hands getting sweaty already after holding hands for so long. And not seeing oh, each other, oh, but you can, you can detect the, the, the sweat. Mm. Alright, so, um, for Carl, you can see, okay, Leona, just checking, mm -hmm. did you close the door when you go in? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, following at a safe distance, um, Carl and Camille is right in front of a closed door. Oh, I also lock it. <laughs> uh, okay, can you roll another slide of hand to lock the door? Oh, sorry, hand. Like, isn't it like just a knob? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right, you 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 manage to lock the door from the inside. Okay, <laughs> and you try to make your way upstairs. Hmm. All right, for Carl and Camille, you are in front of a closed door, and you notice that it is locked. Hmm. I don't have tips too. Kazuma, you have tips too? No, I have to not. Um, shall we go get a drink? You know, I can, uh, for all you know. Hey, how's your you know, familiar? Can... How's your familiar? Yeah, yeah, just wait here, Gigi. Yeah, just wait here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, what do you do? Carl, what do you do? I guess we just wait here. <laughs> He's concentrating, opening something. His pants! <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, I, I, I PM you. Okay. Yeah, because you know, do you know, do you know, how to say this? Uh? Hmm, that was fine. That, that, that for the sake of uh, proper role play, let's do this. Okay, which PM are we? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I got it. Alright. Okay. Alright, alright. Alright. Hey, lots of things are going on. <laughs> Good thing it's the same place. Yeah, I know. It's the same place. Right, I'm looking at okay. All right. Okay. Um. Call. Um. 
Okay. I mean, for, for me, you just feel that. No, just, just touch. Let's, let's, let's play it outside. Okay. So, that thing. Okay. 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 You are doing that. You are waiting outside in the cool night air. Getting colder, anyway. Mm-hmm. And... Yep, sure. Leona, what what do you do? Uh, as I head up the stairs, do I see any lit candles? Yes. All it right. lit up the, the staircase. Alright, give me a second. I need to double check on this spell. Uh, okay, let's see. Alright, um, on one of the candles, I use Tomotogy to dim it to a close okay and then i keep going up do i see any more light source you can see the the light source it it every other um section uh, of the stairs is uh, lit up by candles okay. but the candle right now is i think it's about 15 minutes before burning out. Alright, so at the first one that I pass and I dim it, I kill the light. Okay. You kill the light mm-hmm. inside, the, uh, inside there, okay? Alright, and I keep moving until I can see a window um, not really window, uh, if I can. Yeah, I, I see a window that I can scout to the outside of Lady Emilia's place. Alright, so there is a window at the hallway that goes into, you suspect, by the building. Uh, it, this is the second floor. I mean the first floor. Uh, the, after the ground floor, there's the first floor. Okay. And then <clears throat> the hallway is... Uh, has windows open towards the the mansion that it faces. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or you you can see the back of the mansion of where uh there are windows there. Mm-hmm. So I slowly uh I slowly hit towards that room and check out if the if it's safe to go in. Well, you are not so sure. Um, how do you check it out? So, the room at the end of the hallway. Is the hallway lit up? Well, it is lighted by the the moonlight that is partially that's there. Mm. It's not a full moon, but there are lights coming from outside the door. Alright, so um, there there's a room and I got no idea what it is. You have no idea? What's inside the room? Right, so... I slowly try and open the door. Does it open? It does seem to open. It does not seem to be locked. Right. So before that, uh, I take a look see at the bottom of the door to see if there's any light inside. You... See inside the door doesn't seem to it, it seems to be dark. Alright, I if there's any light it may be something that is not moving. It's like similar to moonlight light coming moonlight out of the window. Okay, so I slowly push the door open. Mm-hmm. Slowly to see is there any reaction. And roll perception as you Push the door open, slowly. Thirteen. <coughs> you can hear somebody snoring. Mm. Okay. Plus three, plus one. Oh, all right, that's interesting. <coughs> all right. So, mm, okay. Uh, there's somebody inside the room sleeping. Most likely, yes. Most likely, yes. Let's see, alright. Um, okay. Uh, how many rooms are there at the top floor? From the door that you can see, there is about three rooms. 
towards the end of the hallway. Uh, most likely, that's the most special room. Is the master bedroom. There are other rooms that, from the stairs towards the end of the hallway, there is two more doors. Uh, I slowly close this one and head to the other one. Also doing the same thing, checking the bottom for any lights and so on. Okay, the first door that is closest to where uh, it is located seems to be locked. Hmm, alright. I'll try and look pick it. <coughs> and with that, um, you managed to un unlock the door. Alright. So, uh, any light source? No? Or any lights inside? Doesn't seem to be any light. Alright, slowly open the door. Okay. It's very dark. Very dark. Alright, no problem. I go in. Okay. And I slowly close the door. What you is? it seems to be like an, an empty bedroom mm -hmm. with a cot and uh, some uh, with a bed an empty bed. All right. You say cot like a baby's cot or yes, there is an empty baby cot and a bed. And a bed. Is there no nobody's in the room, right? Nobody's in the room. Hmm. All right. Um, I'll. Head towards the window and check out the place. Uh, check out Lady Amelia's place. Uh, this is not facing Lady Amelia's place. So what is facing to the west? You know, east. It is facing towards here, towards the back of the building. The hallway is facing. Let's like facing Lady Amelia's is towards the front door. So, wait, uh, not all three are facing Lady Amelia's? No. So, the door, the room I mean is facing this way? This way, this way. This way? Yes. Like, wow, those guys got cheated. Huh. So basically what I'm seeing is just another wall. Ye well, yes, it's another wall. <laughs> God damn it, they got cheated out of there. Alright, oh, oh, boys. Um, I... Slowly... Yeah, your, your room you're facing is too... Facing towards that. <coughs> Alright. So anyway, um, I'll head down quietly and at the, uh, to the front door and I head up. Alright. And you, as stealthily as possible, you go down and you make your way out. Alright. Mm, okay. As you make your way down. Mm -hmm. You unpick the, the lock door, the lock front door. I uh, just turn the knob. Turn the knob. All right, so um, dexterity check for Carl and Camille. Roll a dexterity. Okay. It is. Okay. Nineteen. Suddenly, no, no, no. as you were, yeah, as you were standing in front of the door, suddenly it, it 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 opens when you are just standing there. You barely had enough time, but for Carl, you have uh, some some inkling of some some sense that that oh okay, something is somebody is approaching. You manage to. 
let go of uh, the other person's hand and you manage to step out of the way. Okay. All right. So, Leona, uh, you open the door mm -hmm. and what do you do now? Uh, with my hood up, I okay. head towards... <clears throat> okay, um, okay, okay, okay. One thing, Leona, uh, mm -hmm. let me check with you on something. Okay. Give me a second, eh? Oh no! Give me a second. God damn it! What the hell? Honey, give a second. All right, there we go. Head towards the. Uh, I will head towards Farmers Road. Farmers Road. Okay, Roger that. Mm -hmm. You went uh, towards Farmers Road. Okay. And All right. I head into the Grand Playhouse. You take the side door and. You went inside the mm -hmm. house. Um, there's always a bouncer there, uh, seeing that uh, whoever is there, whether it's um, disagreeable folks not to be in. So, as usual, bouncers are stopping you. Who? What do you want? Hold on, hmm? What? You want to come in? Oh, come in. Is, oh, come in is there. I'm okay. here. Yeah, yeah. Rush to see. Okay. So uh, oh, okay. I pocket the guy five gold coins. Need to use the bathroom. Oh. Um well if you cannot hold it, you can hold it. Go in. So I hit and, him. And alright. So you went inside. And after that he he steps back in front of the entrance. Looking out. Okay, for Carl and Camille, you lost sight of the hooded figure uh, that goes into the Grand Playhouse. Ah, uh, how much more minutes on my uh, level 3 invisibility? I think it's just about 5 to 10 minutes, roughly. Hey, Kazuma, you wanna go in and have fun? Okay, let's go. Okay, we go hide somewhere, drop our invisibility, and enter the playhouse like boss. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, you manage to time your... Okay, you manage to... But your invisibility, you can have uh, it to be expiring, or you can turn it off at will, right? They're yeah. hiding, try, they're, they're finding a location to turn it off. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Checking on. Right. So, um, you manage to find one of the location. Coincidentally, it's just right beside the alleyway of the shrine of Chantia. That, uh, well, one thing you are invisible, people cannot see you. But regardless, you just um turn off and 
the two of you slowly walk your way towards the entrance on where you saw the the person that you are telling go inside. Yeah. And the uh, the bouncer. Um, is, uh, oh, who are you? What do you want? Uh, it's a cold night. I just need some warmth, a drink, some company. You know, the usual. How much to go in? Well, one gold piece. One gold it is. Thank you, good man. <laughs> one gold good. piece to for him to enter. <laughs> hey, that's the... No, that's no, the it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah, it's I mean, a month's expenses for the, for the modest. I understand, I understand. It's just the other person. <laughs> yep. Yeah, who's this other person with you? Oh, him, yeah. He, he'll pay for himself. Right, Carl? Right, of course, yeah, leader. Yeah. Of course, of course. I'll pay. I'm his... <clears throat> I'm his best bro. We're here to spend the night, yo. Yo, <laughs> go, oh, I get my... <clears throat> you get my ass on, yo. <laughs> yeah, it's his first time. It's his first time. He's nervous. <laughs> Oh. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, so both of you uh, paid one gold piece each to enter. Yep, yep, one gold. All right. So, uh, as the dog has he steps out of your way and opens the door, and you can see. Well, you can hear at first. Uh, the. The, uh, the sound of uh, people having a good time, uh, revelling well, reveling in in music, and for for Camille, and you suddenly uh, saw and also felt Carl urgently trying to go somewhere inside the Grand Playhouse. Ooh, Carl! Oh my! Yeah, that's the. Uh, I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get some hot chicks. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, I, 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 I let him do his thing and quietly follow him. You know, grab a drink. So, Carl, are you going to urgently? Uh... I I'm gonna look for some uh, waifus. <laughs> okay. <coughs> um. So, do you really are doing what you are doing? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Camille, you notice um, Carl is heading towards the other entrance. There's another the front entrance. entrance to the Grand Playhouse. There's another entrance? <laughs> yes, there is two entrances. Okay, one is the side entrance. That... The Grand Playhouse has two entrances. <laughs> so wait, have, have he been using the other, the farm road entrance all this time? Yes. <laughs> oh God. Uh, so we're inside and Carl is heading out? I guess so. I thought he was talking about chicks. Hot magic singles. It's okay, I just observe him but I don't exit the Playhouse. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> So you do you just saw him and then uh you saw him get out of the the other door. Okay. And did he just burn his one goal like that? I'm not so sure. You have to ask him later. Hmm. Okay, you are in the grand playhouse while Carl is out back outside. That's strange. Alright. So, um, Camille, what are you going to do inside the, the Grand Playhouse? Uh, grab a drink, have some right. fun, look for All Leona. Right. Okay, can you roll a perception, please? For Camille. All right. All right. Camille, uh, strangely enough, 
you do not seem to notice anyone resembling the the figure that you have been following inside this. You saw people uh, here and there. Uh, you see him in merchants' garb. Or one of them seems to be a cap ship's captain. You have all the the attendees inside, the stewards of the playhouse. You saw bards, musicians, and people are pouring drinks and fine wines. But you do not seem to notice, and which is kind of strange because it's barely several minutes uh, ahead of you, the person that you were tailing. You do not seem to notice anyone resembling that as you wow. drink at the corner, observing everything. Wow, it's as if she vanished into thin air. All right, so... You will spend your time there, right? Have fun, uh, have fun, party. We just got paid, remember? All right. So, okay, you will be at the Green Play House. Uh, okay, there. Okay, for Carl, you are outside, and Carl, can you roll a perception check? Well, you look left and you look right. Doesn't seem to be noticing anyone uh, there. But regard, nevertheless, you you head towards the marketplace. As if on instinct, you, you are making your way somewhere. Alright. For Leona. Hmm. Uh, uh, what do you do? Do you want to message me or done? I uh, I done the message. Yep, yep, yep. I know you are doing that. So you are doing what you are doing, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Quietly, you do not seem to notice. Okay, can you just roll a perception check, just in case, oh. uh, Leona? Ah, fourteen. <coughs> well. You do not seem to notice anyone following you uh, as the night gets colder and gets late. Um, street seems to be empty um, and you do not seem to be seeing anyone following you at any distance. Or... Mm. <sighs> it's cool. And I get to the message direction. Or yep. location. All right. So, um, all right. Mm -mm. So, Camille is there. Uh, Camille is partying like it's eighty. No, not nine hundred years. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. It's like All right. 1999. No, that's not right. Uh, 909 or 99, whatever. I wonder how year works in this location. No, no idea. <laughs> this is, like I said, this is the year of, uh, let's see, uh, 4500, if I'm not mistaken. 4500. Woo! Hey, drink to our youth, the day is coming and gone. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, uh, what else, um, Carl? What you, what are you doing? <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> okay. So, how do I go about doing this? We have a split party. Somebody is three way split, by the way. <laughs> All hail to Anna, you are our queen. In your great honor, we drink and we sing. Yes, yes, we sing.
This is a song well the DM lost the game. Yeah. All right. So, uh Mhm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to see who is who and where. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> All right. This is going to be tricky. Ah, you guys are really not not giving the DM. Ah, no, man. An easy uh, time. Okay. No, it's practice. Plus, another two more people are not in here, so it's like, okay, let, let, let's just do adventure quest. <laughs> All right. So I got this. I got this. I got this. Um, this is done. This is done, and. Where the children are faring and we fight our lives And when her golden smile beckons, every one of us dies Alright <coughs> Alright For this land is ours <laughs> Hello there Lionel Okay, you are there and everything Strangely enough, barely, I think about several minutes or two minutes later, Carl walks in the door. Mm. Hey, Kazuma! Hmm. Oh, Mala, what are you doing here? Who, me? Yep. Grabbing a meal. And you? Huh? I just came back. From? I'm having some fun. Wing wing. Huh. And Lionel is there. <coughs> A bit more. He looks tired. Hey man, um, you, you you look tired. What happened? Work work work. <laughs> <laughs> click click. <laughs> click click click. Stop. <laughs> Stop touching me. <laughs> <laughs> work work work. work, work. <clears throat> uh, is there a meal still? Always. That's what's keeping me up. <laughs> Money's good, but the work is never never done. Sorry about that. I'll have a meal, please. Okay. Uh, happy is not so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiring meal. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Um, he yawns. And I eat up. <laughs> Mm, eat up slowly and whatnot. Mm. And Carl is right there. So, Lionel says, uh, Would you like to have a meal too? Give me a drink. And, uh. Yeah, and maybe some things. Bread and soup. Soup? Soup, bread and soup. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, must think we are a soup kitchen. <laughs> okay. All right, so coming right up, and so Lionel went to the kitchen or something at the back, and just a few minutes later he came by and pass you the soup that you asked. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I eat that. I eat my meal. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So the two of you are eating your meal slowly. Mm -hmm. So what brings you here, Carl? Oh, you know, it's an adventure with some uh, girls. Bing bing. I try to calm. I I try to calm the owner. What oh, should I roll? Uh? You try to calm Leona. Charm, charm. What charm? With a spell Leona. or with your personality? With my awesomeness. Awesome. Are you really that awesome? <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> what should I do? Persuasion? Uh, let's see. Well. Charisma. Charisma? Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, charisma, but it's persuasion. 
So a charisma check is the persuasion. Mm, 15. Mm. Alright. So. Alright. So what so, do you say? What do you say, Mr. Carl? Yeah. Zuma? Yep. Oh, like, you know, bing bing. Bing bing. Bam. We, you know, doing some business with some girls. Bing bing. Mm, I see. <laughs> well, you know, and I finish up my meal. I could use some company. And I get to Carl, lean on him. And, um, let's see. <clears throat> no, you're not my type. I'm not interested in your type. Oh, that's mean. That's mean of you to say that. Anyway, I need to go to bed and I night. Okay. So um all right. Carl, what do you do? You saw uh, you not just went into the room that you guys are boarding? Oh, just, just, just look at you, Dr. Okay, if she, she took my coin or something. Do you check? Yep. Uh, okay, you are checking. Uh, you counting all your coins, right? Yeah, just checking the pockets. Okay. Well, you notice it's uh, slightly lighter. I lost. By your keen accounting skills and really calculative mind, you seem to lose, lose about six coins. Gold. Oh, guys, oh, Gold. Mm. I go, go inside the room. Okay. Yeah. And then I clap Leona for behind. What? What do you do from behind? Yeah. But you know, I No, no, what? You, you were cutting out. What did you do? I hugged you from behind. What? And I whispered your ear, but you do smell nice. What? I, I didn't get the whole. <laughs> you were from behind? <laughs> Yes, I go to your behind, you and do. I say, but you do smell. You do know that I'm just laying flat, right? Hmm? I'm laying flat on the oh, top yeah, then bunk. Push you up. Then I push you down. On the top bunk? Yes, on the top. <laughs> God damn it. Well, this goes down real quick. I know. <laughs> So, what now? You're on top of me? Yes. I'm confused. Uh, you, 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 you seem to be breaking up. Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear? What? Oh, no. Can you hear me? What? Yeah, yeah, okay, now. Okay, now, now yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Basically, yeah, I... Yeah. Can, 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 can you see? Can Camille is, cannot see. Yeah, Camille is in okay, a Okay, my house. imagination is better. <coughs> yeah, Camille is not there. Well, technically, he cannot see because he's not using um, web. Yeah. He's using yep. app. Yep. My mind is more powerful. Uh, okay, Camille is somewhere else. Uh, there's two person inside the room at the, the Daggerford Inn. Yeah. And right now, Carl is trying to do something. Mm-hmm. What were you doing? You know what? I'm, I'm too lazy to afford this shit now. <laughs> well, I'm giving you any message. Ah, okay. Uh, so that, that, I'm too tired already. <laughs> this kind of bullshit. Okay, suggestion. You want to roll your safe? What safe? Uh, okay. Uh, you have to suggest first. 
What do you suggest? Hmm? Okay. Ah. Uh, give back my money with give back my money with interest. Triple triple my money. And you no know, take a walk around town until tomorrow morning and forget all about this. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh wisdom, eh? Yes, wisdom saving through. Alright, let's go. Uh, so I'm so tired for this shit man. Um I doing for the party is not fun. Let's do this. So give me a second, I need to ask. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hmm. You were saying. Okay. Hold on. Did, did I yeah, no, no, no. Ah. Uh. All right. So. Uh, I think you fail the wisdom save. Uh huh. And you, well, you feel you were suggested to do something. All right, man, my wisdom sucks. And you can try to steal again, or against. I think no, you deserve this. Normally, you get a knife in your body. What? Yeah, you steal from a party, man. All right, so, um. You felt compelled to return the money plus interest. Mm-hmm. 18 gold. And... 24 gold. 24 gold. Yep, 3 times the interest. Mm-hmm. No. Wait. Return my money with 3 times the interest. That would be 18. No, no, 3 times the interest. So it's 6 plus, plus uh, another 6. So. Uh, Jem, what, 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 what's your ruling on this? Is it okay, 18 or? Uh, okay. Original is about 6. Uh, and yeah. then 3 times the interest is 6 times 3. 18. So it's 24. 24, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay. So I hand over 24 gold and I take a walk. Around yeah. time. Until morning. And you forget about all this happening. Town, okay. So, um, okay. So, uh, Leona now uh, exits the room and Carl, you are now alone. You know what? I'm just gonna take a rest. Huh? Hmm? I'm just gonna take a rest and make sure my valuables are properly stashed away. All right. Okay, so, um, Leona, you are, you are walking out, and then you are going somewhere, and where do you go? You're just walking. I hit what Lenny verse. All right. You spend the night uh, walking and then you, even though you're walking, you have a clear direction on where you want to go. Mm-hmm. And you came to the barrack quite late. Uh, the death sergeant is there, but you saw him snoring. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you do? Do you... I head up to the um, office. Without waking him up? No, without waking him up. Alright. Sure. You went up to the office. The door is closed, as usual. I opened the door. Well, you open the door and... Inside there? Where Lenovo usually sleeps, uh, you do not see him. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So, GM, um, what is my state of mind right now? You feel like, um, well, you still un- uh, under the spell. You are supposed to be walking up to. Uh, hold on. Uh, Carl, you after checking your. You mentioned you after checking your belongings and everything, you take a rest, right? Yep, I'm going to sleep. Just go on. No. All right, sure. Um, I think by now, um, you, Leona, you are okay. I'm okay. You do not so... seem to well. You, you feel like walking, but now, mm-hmm. you find yourself uh at Lenovo's place. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, you you don't quite you are not so sure why you are here, but yeah, it seems to be like you have a purpose coming here. Hmm. So because once uh, the concentration is uh, ended, mm-hmm. it requires a concentration. What? Mm. Awesome. Concentration, uh, right? Duration, concentration, concentration. Duration, yeah. Concentration, concentration, eight hours. Yeah. Concentration, concentration. Why? Why is it concentration, concentration? It's double concentration. Special <coughs> <laughs> concentration. Yeah, if you look at the description, duration, concentration, concentration, up to up 8 to hours. It. Yeah, so it's up to 10, 8 hours, right? Yeah, but it's a concentration. You mentioned you, you take a rest, you're not concentrating yeah. anymore. But yeah, you, but you can still rest while concentrating as well, right? You don't have to, like, you know, not, not concentration. Concentration, let me check. Concentration is, is different because it's just... Uh, it's just another method, yeah. If you check out the quick reference, uh, if you take a look, see at conditions, if I'm not mistaken, uh, what does? Uh, let's see. Let's see, uh, it said uh, okay. Well, the normal activity just is moving and attacking doesn't interfere concentration. The following factors can break concentration. Think under spells that require concentration. You taking damage. You being incapacitated or killed. Okay. Yeah. And? Resting doesn't count as, as uh, any of this. So it, it's, it's just a way, a method of saying that, you know, you can only have, it's like you're concentrating on spell, but, you know, it, unless you're incapacitated or killed or you take damage or you pass under spell. So, uh, yeah. So if you still be under the spell. All right. Let, let me ask you, uh, when you are resting, you are resting, sleeping, right? No, no, no. Not sleeping, just taking a rest. Long rest or short rest? Just lying down, taking a short rest. Just lying down, not doing anything. GM, I refer to you because um, I'm going to say if you at least take a nap, you do lose concentration. Yep. Yeah, but I, I'm not napping, just sleeping. Because I'm, I'm just lying down. I'm just resting on it. You, you don't, if you're, resting, you're sleeping, then I'll say yes. But if you're not sleeping, then you're just resting, it should be fine. Because you're just lying down on a bit, right? This is my this is my take on it, uh. unless okay. unless I fell asleep and. All right, all right, sure. Um, you mentioned the yeah, the person has to walk until morning, yeah. Yep. Okay. So, Gio, so you, what happened? Because um, what do now? Because I'm a bit confused. Okay. So, uh, the time. Uh, to take is about one hour from Daggerford Inn all the way to the Lenibus place. And by this time, it's the clock is about one in the morning. One in the morning, eh? Alright. Yes. So, I'm in Lenibus office right now. Yes. Okay. <coughs> it is morning, technically. Hmm. Okay, I snap out of it then. Right? Because that is the wording, right? Until morning. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm in Lenovo's office. Shit. What am I doing here? I can't remember. Hmm. Well, since I'm here, I take a look see at Lenovo's sleeping quarters. Is he in there? No. He is not. I look in the bathroom? Nope, it's not there. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, 
I take a look see at his table and I look for any documentation that is important. Okay, um... Okay, uh, anything, the, the thing is, uh, deeds, titles, uh, there's warrants, arrest warrants inside there, <coughs> and some reports. Okay, anything to do with, um, with? whatever does, uh, with the Duchess and so on? There is one letter about some being summoned to the council. Okay. I'll take a read. What does it say? Alright. So, <clears throat> summon is okay. Something about, okay, you scan, scan and skim through the, the missive. And it says about uh, attending to an urgent meeting to discuss uh, something urgent and needs uh, Lenivers uh, council. Hmm. All right, I put it back where I found it. Okay. But besides that, there's nothing to do with uh, anything that we're not privy to. So far, nothing. Well, you you see some of the arrest warrants about uh, some of the thugs that's right now trying to operate near the. The rich quarters, trying to muscle their way in. Hmm. Uh, okay, there are some things about reports about the the water street now. After the insurrection about the from the angry mobs last time, and the increased patrol there, uh, people are getting to be angry at the authorities. Uh, something along that line. Hmm. Okay. And there is something about the. Somebody in, in a red cape, something, uh, not sure whether it's terrorizing or being a vigilante near Koth Alley or Water Street. Water Street. Um, hmm. do... Is that Red Shadow? Yeah, is that Red Shadow? Doesn't say. Somebody in red. Somebody in red. <laughs> but I was in black red. That's what it says. Hmm. All right. Uh, I'll put back where I found it, and I'll check the drawers. Alright, so you check some of the drawers. Uh, one of it is locked. Hmm, I'll try and lockpick it. Roll sleight of hand. Alright, so you manage to unlock that lock drawer there. Mm-hmm. There is a um, there is a box there. Mm. What kind of box? Wooden, metal. It's a metal box. Mm. I slowly pick it up and try to open the box and see what's inside. Uh, well, you try to see the making. It's quite ornate. Uh, it's it's carved uh, in something like. Runes or shapes on the box. Mm. Have I seen this box before? No. Mm. Any writings on it? Just runes and shapes or something inscribed on the metal box. Okay, mm. you know what? Um, no, I'm not going to open it then. But are there anything else inside the drawer? No. Just that one box. I'll put it back and I'll close the drawer and try to lock it back. Alright. So you try as you see fit to lock it back. Alright. Yep, yep. And I'll check the other drawers. Well, nothing of values. Just more and more letters, uh, some reports. If I'm not mistaken, Lenovo keeps his swag or gold in inside of the behind a painting, right? Do you know this? 
I've seen him do it before. But I'm just trying to remember, is it my imagination or did that happen? <laughs> so, do you check some of the paintings that's hanging on the wall? Yes, I do. Okay. Solid wall. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, no problem then. Hmm. I'll look at his bedside drawer. Alright, so can you roll perception by now? Uh, give me a second. Perception. There we go. <coughs> 22, 22. Alright, by this time, um, you are you spent about quite some time here reading uh, some of the reports. Uh, by now you can hear footsteps. Oh, um, I from downstairs. I'll bolt to. I bolt to the door. I. Is it snowing? No, right? The thing is, it's not snowing. Mm -hmm. Outside, it is not. I think it's just towards the end of winter. It is sometimes. If it even if it snows, it melts. Mm, okay. Fast. So, am I able to jump out the window? The window is closed. All right. So, I open the window. It is bolted. Ah, yes. That... Shut. Hmm, okay. There seems to be lots of bolts being put there, including there's a, still a, a, a well, an axe. Hmm, still. Well, it's still there. Hmm, alright. So, there's somebody down there. You can hear heavy footsteps. Going up or still moving down? It seems to be moving up. Alright. It seems to be down. You can you can almost hear it near the stairway. Mm hmm Alright. So uh, you are there. Right. Um give me a second, eh? Mm hmm <coughs> And I sit on the chair in front opposite of him. Right, so. Oh, uh, before that. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, let's see. The first step is coming closer. Do, do. I'll stab myself in the gut. Do, do. With my do. dagger. Uh, roll dagger damage. Four. Ouch! So you get you get advantage against yourself because it is uh, willing. <laughs> um, uh, and you, then you do it willingly. I'll clean the blade and put back my dagger. All right. And then I'll just lay there. By this time, it's almost okay. There, and the door was open. Boom. And you notice a familiar face. Oh no, I don't. I close my eyes. Okay, sure. And... So. What the... Who is this? You! What are you doing here? I turn and fall to the ground. Oh, this is Emmy Awards, man. I... Uh, I don't say much. Yay! Non-player adventure! This is what happens when there's nobody to join. <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't see much. I just lay on the floor. Guards! Sergeant! Explain yourself. Come here. By the way, GM, who... Hmm? Like, does he recognize me? Well, he just came into a room mm -hmm. that is, well, dark. Ah, yes. And he just saw somebody <laughs> dropping there. And you can hear more footsteps coming upstairs. And... Arjun, explain yourself. What is this? 
how did this person get past you and right now there are there seems to be torches or lights coming into the room mm -hmm. uh, uh, they can hear the can uh, the sergeant stammering uh, I, 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 sorry sir I, I do not see her Any, anyone Whoa. what is this person and you can feel somebody uh, look okay propping your your head seeing who you are mm -hmm. and then <coughs> just see sir she's injured yeah i can see that Lenable, his voice boomed yes but what is she doing in my room this time of night Take her downstairs, uh, get her into the infirmary, and you can feel uh, like more than one people uh, propping you up and then bringing you downstairs into the infirmary. Mm -hmm. And it took some time there inside the infirmary, <laughs> and before the animal came, came by, it says, uh, by this time, you have been slightly revived. <coughs> so, Lenny says, You, yeah. explain yourself. I'm not sure how I got into your room. Uh, all I knew that I was sitting there and I was bleeding. Uh, your, your voice woke me up. Uh, but, oh... Your story doesn't add up. Mm, how so? How do you get onto the the first floor? And how do you get past everybody? And then suddenly appearing in my room. Explain yourself. I'm not sure. I don't remember how I got in there. It could I be... see some... I see some of the things in my on my table has been disturbed. Is that you? No. Why would I? Plus, I've been stabbed. It could be my enemies. Roll deception, please. We'll do. Let's see, please. Thirty-four. <laughs> minus minus two. Thirty-two. Yes. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. <laughs> it's a. Yeah. Yeah, thirty two because the the modifier is weird. What? No, uh, that's the my thing is right. No, no, no. See, it's, it's three plus nine. <sighs> See, it's twelve plus three plus nine. So your modif your description ten is correct. Uh, no, but because this is expert, yeah, uh, expertise. You 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 only have proficiency on this, so you cannot roll expertise. For no, um, I I have expertise on this. I have yeah, expertise but you, on okay, persuasion that's, deception. That's, that's, Okay, let's, let's do it this way. You have three, okay? Uh -huh. Three for your proficiency, so your double is six, right? Uh -huh. they, I, I'm not sure. Like, expertise double, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's ten, not, not, not twelve. Three plus, okay, roll plus three plus three plus charisma. Yeah, so it's three plus three plus charisma. So... Charisma is? Four. Three. Four. So it's how much? Twelve so plus ten. Ten, right? Yeah. So it's not twelve because it's three plus nine. I got no so idea what's going on. Yeah. See, yeah. So twelve plus uh three plus three. Okay. Let me check on Luna. Something wrong with your character, Luna? Is it? I it's still a high roll, yeah, it's still a high roll. I mean, I, I redid it like how I did it in Beyond, like you asked okay, to. let's see, Charisma is 4, so it's plus 10. 3 plus 3 plus, that's 6, plus 4 is 10, so 12 is 22. 
What, what, is, what is up with this? I don't, don't, but, but the deception is correct. For some reason, the, the, when you do the roll, right, it, it adds another Azure additional two. But the deception is correct. It's 10. Deception 10, but for some reason. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I. I... Uh, do, well, let's see. Do, do you have still have your character in uh, Beyond? Yeah, the end Beyond. Yeah, I do still, but uh, let's see. Nah, it's okay lah. Uh, okay, let's just assume that this is um, ten, so twenty-two. Twelve hmm. plus ten is uh twenty-two, and then Lenovo seems to be quite looking at you highly suspicious. <laughs> Explain yourself why you are in. You have not answered why you are in my quarters in the first place, in my office. I don't know how I got here. All I knew, I woke up in this room. That's all I know. Beyond that, nothing else. It could be my enemies. That's sorry. I'm just checking out um rules on, uh, beyond. Oh, what? the and... music it can't be good. Hmm. What? Uh, the background music can't be good. That can't be good. Oh, I don't hear. No, I'm just checking beyond and beyond is simple. They don't add anything else. They just show you your bonus. Huh? <laughs> Odd. Funny thing is, I get 24 here, and it just says 14 plus 10. Huh? Alright, so, well, let me check. See? That is all. Alright. And he casts Lesser Restoration <coughs> on you. Mm -hmm. You don't seem to be afflicted by anything. Step boom. No? It's, it's late. I want you gone. Alright, alright. It's late in the morning already. Alright, I head off then. And I head to... The farm. Okay, by now it's about almost 2 in the morning, mm -hmm. so you are going to the farm. Mm -hmm. Alright. So you, you make your way uh, to the farm. Okay, let me check with you. Uh, do you go to this road or... To the port. report. It took several... Well, it, it took some time. And then the guard here just asking, where are you off to? Lady? Oh, to the farm. It's, it's late. You you do realize that, lady. There's some blood on you also. Yeah, um, Lenever healed me up, so I'm good. So I'm, I'm just going to be at the farm because we kind of own it now. Okay, are, are you sure it's, it's, you know, it's quite, Dangerous outside the gates nowadays, ma'am. True, true, and... Well, I'm taking a risk to protect everyone else. Ah, uh, well, you, you, you are one of the Midnight Hunters, so... Uh, well, I... Be, do be careful out there. Will do. Uh, so, and you spend time there, and... You... The mist is quite... Every at this time of night, uh, more or should I say more morning? It's mm -hmm. about by now. It's about three o'clock. By the time you went out to the farm, mm -hmm. and you are there. In it's quite eerily creepy at the farm at night. All right. <clears throat> I take a look around at the farm, like, 
take a look at the graves then I take a look at the okay sorry here's the thing here, okay here's the thing uh, while you are on the way to the farm you okay can you roll a perception in a second where's the perception all right 20 1d20 plus 3 proficiency plus 1 okay. wisdom 3 plus 1 Okay, uh, uh, you, you notice at the the pier, at the end of the pier, there is something there. Seems to be like a cloak figure. Mm, okay. Yeah, not my problem. I'm going to head back to the farm. It's a cloak figure just standing there. And, and then the mist covers it. Yep. And you are heading towards the farm? Mm-hmm. Oh, zoom out. Yeah, the mist seems to be moving. And it's getting eerily quiet at night. Uh, this is this is our neighbor, right? It's one of the huts that you you all tried to see whether there's anyone or not. Didn't we talk didn't someone talk to him? Well somebody did. Somebody So is this house, right? Not this house. Okay. And eerily, the mist seems to be moving. In and out, in and, and out, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah, before that, I'll take a look, see. Ah, zombie's still there. Take a look, yep. see. The, the thing is still not moving. Oh, the the arrow be, between the eyes is still there. Anything else about this body? Like clothes and whatnot? It's barely clothes. You see some of the, the boots are there. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I don't have time for this. Uh, let's go back to bed. And head into the room. So, do you close the door? Yes, I do. I lock it and I bar it. The All right, door so is open inwards or outwards? It's opening inwards. All right, then I bar it. Okay. Uh. Hey. All right, <laughs> so you are inside the the farm alone mm -hmm. okay um what do you do i'll look at my wounds and see if it's badly uh, did i step myself bad or not well it's quite a deep wound but it has been stitched back by the by the field medic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's not Bleeding anyway. Mm, okay. Did the medic do a good job with the stitching? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Alright, so I'll... Uh, I'll... Um, I'll... I'll rest up. I'll rest up. I'll take a long rest. Alright. As you are taking rest, you can hear... Acceptably, something seems to be scratching us at the walls, outside the walls. Hmm. So, when we take a look see at this place, there were no windows, right? Uh, it's there, there's no windows heading towards there. Like, this yeah. whole place, are there any windows? There are windows here. If you're pinging, I don't see it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, let me go to the here. middle. Ah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Mm. yeah. There's a window here. Window here. Yeah. What you can hear is scratches are here. You can sense scratches uh, near near the chimney and <laughs> like something is scratching. I know. Oh, is it a cat? So, is this scratches up high or down low? Like something um, human mm, some... human size or. 
cat size, something like that. It's not low. So basically, it's human size. All right. And it seems to be continuing. Seems to be more than one sources. And. Uh -huh. Hmm. Okay. To say hi to to it, Diona. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a look see at the kitchen. Are there any? How how did? Uh, more cook like, what did he use? Well, there are pots and pans there. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, some there are some tools, cooking tools there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the chimney. The, well, the chimney is also the fireplace, mm -hmm. uh, leading towards the fireplace, and that's where the cooking is done. Mm -hmm. This is the preparation. Okay. All right. So the um, when he was cooking, was just cooking omelets, right? The what? When when Mark was cooking, he was mm -hmm. making omelets, right? Yeah, something like that. Was it pancakes or something? <laughs> pancakes. I don't remember. Mm. Uh, so are there any oil in this place? Yes, there are some. Just enough. Just enough. Alright. Hmm. Alright. And the scratches are... Seems to be moving along the, the walls. Are there any brooms in this place? There... Oh, there is a broom somewhere down here. Under one of the tables. Alright. I pick up the blue room, I take one of the pillowcases here, okay. wrap the pillowcase around the broom, mm -hmm. and I burn it, making a torch. Okay. You do that? Yep, yep. Okay. I head out. Alright. And I... No, sorry. Uh, before that, mm -hmm. I slowly unlock the door and use thermology and roll out. Yeah, action roll. All right. As you roll out, you notice by now the the fog seems to be retreating. If one can see that. It seems to be moving towards the waters. I chase after the smoke. Come back here! And I wave my <laughs> makeshift um, torch. Zoosh! Zoosh! Alright. Uh, can you roll a wisdom check? Wisdom, wisdom save. Wisdom yeah, save. Oh, now you want. Oh, okay. Okay. Seems to be something is probing you again. But then again, this is your. Well, it is either anger or whichever emotion that, that you are having right now. Mm -hmm. Is it whether it's anger, uh, felt of frustration, it sort of withstood the. Whatever things that's probing your mind now. And you easily resist it. Oh, oh. Oh, like a crazy person running run on the shore, waving, flaming broom, yeah. <laughs> going to the docks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright. And can you roll one last perception? Perception. Yeah. Yes, just in case. This is a bad day. <laughs> ah, I don't notice because swinging in broom. Yes, you are swinging in broom <laughs> left and right and everything. But it does seem to be retreating not only towards the river, but it's towards the port side. Port side, you say? Hmm, yeah. alright. Hmm, have I heard any... History. Oh, you know, I'm gonna try and roll history. Eighteen. So, have I heard any stories from either anyone that troubles are at the port? 
gangsters or whatever it is. But you do not spend a lot of time at the port. Port. At the port. Uh, yeah, at the port. Uh, one thing is because you, of your encounter before mm. with the unsavory melee attackers. Mm -hmm. okay. And you don't keep that. But then again, you do remember the time when the port master body was discovered there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's about the time that the history that you can recall from the port side. And you so, know, some of the ports have the, the thugs. Mm. So no stories, no nothing then? None that you know or you recall as of right now. Mm. Okay, yeah. Alright. So with with looking at the area kind of clean after I sweep it away. <laughs> yes, you, you have you have a pillow and a, on a broomstick. Uh, uh, which flaming. is probably gone by now. It's just a stick now. Now I have a pole. <laughs> yes, you have a pole. All right. Uh, so I go back and yeah, uh, go back in, lock the door, bar the door with this crate, then. Oh. Then hit uh hit to sleep. All right, sure. Uh Camille, you are spending the night at the playhouse. Oh yeah, just tell me my damage. <laughs> Roll okay. for damage. <laughs> no, no. I'll, it seems like forever that, that you have not since you are last there. Uh, it seems like even though it's only several weeks or days, but it seems like it's been months and months and months since you were last there. Yeah, Kirin you're... Salam. Yeah. <laughs> Kirin Salam the manager. Hmm. <laughs> and... For Carl, you are having a rest at the Dagoford Inn. Yeah, I think I, I mean, just want to check. The, the, does my dental alcohol, does it need to sleep? Yeah. It, it still needs to sleep, huh? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Your, your thing, right? Yeah, does it need to sleep? No, it doesn't. Can, 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 I, can I control it so that it didn't sleep? Um, can you roll Arcana? Mm. Well, this is something. This is a new thing that that you have at your disposal. Uh, but then again, even with your limited knowledge about it, you feel like the healthier it is, the brighter its light. To ask it to dim its light is to ask it to be dead, <laughs> or even dead. And <laughs> cover cover him up, I can't wait up with my uh, with my with my additional cook. <laughs> Coming out of the so that the light is not too bright, and I ask him to uh, watch watch over me while I sleep, lah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Right. So so it become like a lamp shade. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lamp shade. It's just uh, well. Lumos Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, you you have a lamp shade, and uh, and and one of the sheets bed sheets is a bit. Uh, holy, as in full of holes. <laughs> so you you have something like uh, a light play at the at the walls over there. Mm, not bad, not bad. Let's go. All right, Disco. sure. Yeah. So all of you are taking uh, Long your rest. rest. Long rest. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Yep, yep. All right. Um, a warm, warm rest. Yep. Uh, there is a good company there where you are, Kamil. Uh, there um, seems to be like uh, you have been spending time there before, and some of them still remembers you, your patronage. All right, so uh, I think can we sort of uh, yep, can we end the adventure for the night? Yeah, sure. I mean, right, sure. Uh, there's the three of us, three different locations. I think yeah. this is a good yeah, place to end. Yep, uh, it will get confusing for the other two when they come back next week. But yeah, oh. why not? Oh, yeah, yep. so, so so just just for the party, uh, we got a generous donation of eighteen gold gold coin. So party pass at fifty eight coin, fifty eight gold. What? What? Okay, again. Oh, I'm breaking again. Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. breaking with yeah. Yeah, no, just just saying that our party funds is now uh fifty eight gold, mm -hmm. thanks to the generous eighteen gold coin from Leona donation. Eighteen. Eighteen gold coin. 
Oh. The the the, the interest, the extra. Yeah, the yeah, extra. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. No swimming for party, yeah. Oh no! I I'll just ask to buy stuff with that goal. Yeah, if it if it within within the party within the party use, then yeah, why not? Yeah, I will make sure it's party use. <laughs> Boys. Oh, by the way, uh, since a session end, um, you did realize how you phrase your wording to your lantern, right? Well, what about the phrase it to then? Uh, look over you. Uh, look over. It, it, it's smart enough because, yeah, because uh, for wall pack of the chain, our Ethereum are much smarter than the normal. Oh yeah, I mean, it says look over you, but you didn't tell it to, uh, if anything goes wrong, warn me. <laughs> so it's like, hmm, yes, I am looking over you, boss. Hmm, this person is coming at you. <laughs> I think you'll know, but yeah, what, what about, wait, is it? I think it understands because in the pack of the chain, the familiar are much more smarter than the normal thing. This is okay, the... uh, okay. It, this is in reference to what? Yeah. Uh, this is reference to uh, Carl uh, commanding its lantern to look over him. Hmm. Okay, can't remember where, where I lost. Look at it. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. I remember it was something or the, the familiar that summoned from back of the chain a bit smarter. Let me get check. Yeah. Oh, might... Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, it is smarter, but there is a, a, a limit. It's not a genius level. Yeah. Yeah. But it's understand, right? Look over me means is to, you know, to, to warn me, warn me or do anything if it, you know, if something's wrong. Okay, sure. <laughs> um, To have that. Just look over because it's hovering. It's always over you. <laughs> Fine. No, no, no. <laughs> no, just not not to have any miscommunication with the DM too. <laughs> <coughs> nah, man. This is the type of stuff that you do in magic. <laughs> okay. So anyway, uh, mm. let's wait for the rest of the party to to have something next week. Yep. All right. So for Leona, you discovered something interesting. Like somebody is watching you mm-hmm. from the docks. All right. Before the mist retreats back. <clears throat> For right. Carl, you also discovered something. Uh, but then again, it is some, uh, up to you to do what you want with the knowledge. Mm-hmm. And for Camille, you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so good to be back. Yay. Yes. Hey, when I, when, are you still uh, at home ke in the hospital, Camille? Oh, dah, dah, balik dah. Ah, okay. Are you still on painkillers? Okay, bye. Are you still on painkillers? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm, they're good. <laughs> uh, you don't have access to Roll20, is it? Uh, no, I don't have access to a laptop. Oh, you don't have access? Mm. Okay. Ah, Chen. Chen Chen. Hey, Chen Chen. Welcome back. Hello. Check. Can you match stuff? Muted, I think. No, no, it's not muted. But I'm not sure why he's not replying. Yeah, I think there's something with his mic. Probably. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. now, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we, are, we are about to end our session. <laughs> and we're going to give a, <laughs> nah, a generous don't, donation. Don't, don't spoil, don't spoil, don't spoil. Uh, let, let, let me see the recording. We need much, much newer that way. What? Uh, well, uh, you have to wait for the recording, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it'll be out. <laughs> yeah. It'll be out soon. Like it only is short. It's two hours plus, so it won't be that bad. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of so today, a lot today of shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans. Today is the midnight stoppers. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but I I think they they needed your presence. Yes. <laughs> we need no tension. We need Without you, we are lost. <laughs> We need a fort. <laughs> yeah, we need a tanker. Yeah. <laughs> so we need we need the inspiring presence in our party. Oh boy. <laughs> By the way, GM, any XP? Yes. Alright. Okay, today is uh, quite a modest XP. Mm-hmm. But then again, uh, you did something uh, quite adventurous. Uh, for Leona, you managed to gain about 300 XP. Fuck. Oh. 
Well, for Carl, you managed to also get about uh, that, 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 325. Ooh, extra 25. Mm-hmm. Oh, Camille, uh, I think it's about 250. <laughs> uh, Camille, so yeah. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> I'm having fun. Yep. Some things that, that was discovered here and there, but... You managed to secure a letter. Mm, yes. So we'll see how things go. So you have choices next week. Mm. Hope that person comes by. <laughs> uh, it, it, it would be a shame if he didn't because there will be no more being time. <laughs> well, we hope. <laughs> Hopefully it's a full crew by next week. Yeah. Hope so. We've got, we've, got, we've got two choices. We can actually go to the library. If you want, or we can continue to do the farm farming adventure. Yeah, I mean, uh, my personal opinion on the library is I don't want to bring most of the night, I mean, night hunters because they are already pissed, and we should just bring in people who are kind of new there, so to attract less attention. You what? Yeah, Chen Chen's... Yeah, Chen Chen's not a good idea. <laughs> yes. Chen Chen is not a good idea. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, uh, we, we'll see, we'll see. A um, lot of things to do next week. That's a, that's a classic. Okay, I have a disguise <laughs> kit. I too have a disguise kit. We don't have it. We all have a disguise kit? What did we pick? We don't have it. <laughs> Oh god, I should take a disguise kit. Oh, you don't? You can make up everyone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, so yeah, much funs, much funs. Alright, so, uh, well, hope you guys can have a good rest. So, mm-hmm. because your characters are having a, a rest, <laughs> except for Camille. Mm-hmm. He's, He's resting. Having a... <laughs> He's quote unquote resting. Mm-hmm. Yo. So that's see, because oh. uh, the uh, the warlock is trying to um, familiarize himself with the familiar. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I try to learn, you know, try to communicate and learn more about my familiar. I guess. Yeah, because the familiar is something that is totally out of the the list that usually warlocks get. Really, you know? Yeah, and, you know, yeah, and it's special. Something that I didn't expect me to do someone to provide me with. Well, one thing is Celestial Warlock, so <laughs> what do you expect? Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. exactly Pack of the Chain, what I, oh wait, I picked up Pack of the Tomb, but still I got a familiar. Wait, what? Wait, what? You're Warlock now? I was, in the past. Oh. Another yeah. game. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. No, because <laughs> when you say that, like, we, wait, what, multi-class? <laughs> technically, ah, it's, technically, it's not bad. Um, Bart and Warlock works well, actually. 